You know, every time I pick up a guitar, it's still a party. I've been playing for over 30 years now. And you'd probably think, well, you know, it kind of gets a bit stale sometimes. It never does. <laughs> it's literally like kid in a toy store, like the first day I picked up guitar all those years back because of the soundtracks I was listening to and Iron Maiden and bands like that and Dave Lee Roth and Steve Vai and Joe Satriani and Steve Stevens, whoever else I was listening to at the time. And it still feels so fresh. I still love playing every single day. I do this for a living. You know, so I play a lot. <laughs> I teach, I build guitars, I build amps. Um, I record videos obviously for YouTube and on those videos, I do a little bit of playing. You might have noticed. <laughs> and it still feels really, really fresh. And that's kind of mind blowing if you think about it. 30 plus years of doing something and it still feels like, wow, that's pretty, pretty damn amazing. So, um, you know, I scratch my head sometimes about what is it that makes it so, so attractive for me to pick up the guitar every single day and still feel like I'm that 16 year old kid picking up the guitar for the first time and not being able to play, but you know, having that determination to do it. Recently, I was watching the interview which uh, Rick Beato did with Nuno Betancourt and he summed it up absolutely beautifully. And this is the one thing that is gonna make your playing 100% better. In fact, I've said 100% better. This technique actually made my guitar playing 1000% more better than it ever, 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 ever could have been. So I know you want me to tell you what it is, right? You're probably shouting at the screen like, just tell me now. <laughs> Should I keep the suspense up a little bit longer? <laughs> so on this interview, um, Nuno summed it up so, so succinctly and beautifully. He said, it's the dance, it's to move, it's to get locked into something. And he said, to me, you gotta dance. And what was he talking about when he said, you gotta dance? Well, he was talking about how you play the guitar. It's not so much the notes, it's how you play every single note. Now, I've had this experience literally yesterday and today, <laughs> because uh, my friend Reiner, He's a really, really great friend of mine. He's one of my students as well, and a dear, dear friend of mine. And he was recording a song, and we've been working on something. He headed down to Michael Voss's studio in um, Germany just a few days ago, and he recorded a track which we've been working on. And he wanted me to replace a little bit of the track. So um, I replaced this little bit of the track, and um, he messaged me back uh, yesterday, this morning, whenever it was, and he said, how is it that your part has so much energy in it? <laughs> it feels just so much more energetic. And this is what dancing on the guitar is about. It's about putting your heart and soul into every single note that you're playing. So, you know, it's not about technique as such or knowing notes and knowing scales and playing the fastest thing you can possibly think of and having fast fingers and arpeggios, etc., etc. Technique's wonderful. I love learning technique. I love, you know, being a technical guitar player sometimes. But more important to me is how does the note sound? How does it feel? And does it hit me right here? Even the notes that I'm playing. When I'm listening to music, that's exactly what I'm listening to, which is why my heroes are guys like Nuno Betancourt and Steve Vai and Satriani and Steve Stevens and guys like that. They may not be the most technically advanced guitar players at this point in time, because you know what, there are like, you know, six year old kids out there who, who can basically just completely wipe the floor with us guys now. <laughs> We're the old guys now. We're the old guard. <laughs> we can't keep up with these kids because their technical level is just astounding. It is jaw dropping. But sometimes I do listen to instrumental music and it leaves me a little bit cold because I don't feel it. I hear all the notes. I, you know, I really admire the technique but that connection with everything that uh, the guitar player is doing, it just doesn't translate. And this is something which I've been unconsciously doing for a very, very long time. I I'm not even aware that I was doing it, but now I see it because I was watching that interview and how Nuno put it. I'll put the full quote up so that you guys can see what he said. And what he was talking about was the way you actually perform something when you're playing it. It's not just about playing the notes. That's the easy part. Learning the notes and playing the notes, hey, that's the easy part. But it's how you actually play the parts. And there's one change which I've made this year, 
having a bigger studio, which has really, really upped my game for sure. Yeah, in the past I had a small studio, it was half this space, and I used to sit down and record everything. My camera used to be in a fixed position, and that's all I could do because of the you know, limitations of, of space that I had. But now I can stand up and do it, and I find myself dancing even more. In fact, I'll shoot up a clip of me in the studio when I'm recording something, and this will make you smile and probably laugh at me, but hey, whatever. <laughs> I don't mind because you know what? I do do this. I literally do dance like nobody's watching when I'm kind of like um, waiting for the solo to come up and my, my cue to come up. I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm doing it, man. Why am I doing it? Because I'm getting myself into that connection with the music and every part of my body is then playing what I'm going to be sharing with you guys. And that performance, I, be I really believe that that performance comes through. When I listen to my tracks, I hear it and I've heard it for a long, long time. Even when I used to sit down, my favorite tracks are the ones where I could really feel it. Then when I watch the videos back, I see myself kind of jumping around in my chair. <laughs> I can see myself just closing my eyes and just going for it and really hitting the strings and all of that dynamicism comes through in my playing and I think it really translates to music. So it's a very simple thing that you guys can do. It's completely free as well. You don't have to learn anything else. You don't have to learn a new song, new technique. You, you can be playing blues, jazz, rock, whatever, classical, but it's all about putting your heart and soul and dancing with the music. Dance with what you're doing, dance with your instrument. I think a great way to do it is to stand up. It's challenging and I'm glad that I've taken on this challenge this year because you know, I feel that my videos and my performances are so much better as a result of that because I just feel more connected with what I'm doing. I literally do. And it just keeps improving. And each year, you know, I have a personal goal. I always kind of want to look back 12 months from now and think, wow, I'm a better guitar player than I was this time last year. You know, whether it's a little thing, big thing, I don't have to learn kind of, you know, the latest sweet picking style on an eight string guitar with, you know, two extra strings just because, and then, you know, using eight fingers and stuff like that. It doesn't matter to me. But if what I'm playing is um, making me listen to my tracks over and over and over again, which it does, I record my tracks and then I sit there listening to them. I listen to my own music. And I think that's the most profound indicator. If you're that happy with your music, then you know what, when you share it, it doesn't matter what people think. If you love it, if you're so into it, then that's all that matters, right? Because you've connected with the music. <laughs> I've been a guitar teacher for a long time and um, I teach this stuff all the time to my students. And you know what, I'm gonna up my game and teach them this technique a little bit more. I'd love to hear your thoughts in it as well. Nuno's a genius, we know that. He's a wonderful guitar player. You know I'm a big fan. <laughs> so, you know, go and check out the interview he did with Rick Beato because there is so much beautiful, beautiful, juicy information in there. I'm gonna go watch it again. And I'm gonna play some more guitar. All right, guys and girls, have a great day. And if you haven't done so already and you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that you know when new videos are going to be coming out. Please do give it a thumbs up as well. YouTube absolutely loves it. I love you for doing that. And remember, subscribing is absolutely free as well. It doesn't cost you anything. So hit the subscribe button. <laughs> All right, guys and girls, I'm going to give you some of my music now because I love sharing it. Enjoy, and I'll see you again really soon with another video.